Boxing King Media in association with Boxro. Uh, joined today by Willie Howe. Uh, Willie, young upcoming heavyweight, about uh, about to make your debut on the uh, Eubank Smith undercard. Uh, just introduce yourself to the fans. You know, you know your amateur pedigree and uh, where you're from. Yeah, I'm uh, William Howe from Middlesbrough. Um, 38 fight I think I've had. Seven-time national champion. Um, three British. Uh, Two-time European medalist. And um, I'm, I've won many multinational, multi, multi international um, competitions. So I've got an outstanding background in the amateurs. Um, boxing many times with England, member of the England squad, um, GB trials, everything like that. So now it's just the time to step into the pro ranks now. Interesting stuff, and obviously being a heavyweight and competing at that sort of level uh, on Team GB, you've got some serious credentials behind you. So I'm guessing you will have sparred with people like you know Fraser Clark, Solomon Dakers, all them sort of guys. Or were they a bit after you? Uh, they were after me actually. They were after me. They were um, they were behind me because I'm only 21, 21. So that, yeah, so I'm a baby compared to them. So as I was coming through, they were sort of they were already on the ladder, sort of speak. Um, so I never got a chance to spar them, but obviously I'm more now with the delicious era and um, all these younger heavyweights coming through. I'm more that era of uh, boxers coming through, young heavyweights. Interesting stuff, man. So um, have you been just been boxing and training, you know, most of your, your teens and now, or uh, do you have other interests? Like, have you got a job as well? Yeah, I, um, I work for one of my sponsors, Close Protection. Um, do um, do a lot of work for him. Um, when I go home on the weekend, because uh, fight camp during the weekend and a bit of work on the weekend, um, keeping me ticking over. Um, but I've boxed from nine year old now, so coming up to 12 years I've boxed. So I've boxed from a kid, um, and I've, I've, I only really started boxing about 14 because I was such a big kid. I think I was 10, 10 and a half stone at nine year old, which is every kid at that weight. And then uh, I think got to 14 and got a few fights. And then uh, before I know it was, I think seven fights in, I was fighting for England for a British title, um, Tri Nations. So I've got, I've just excelled really fast in terms of um, where I'd have to be because I didn't do the school boys or nothing like that. Um, so I've just boxed pretty much all my life. That's all I've known really boxing. Good stuff, man. And obviously you've you've turned professional and. At, you know, heavyweights, it's a competitive division, but the money's big as well. You could have gone with any trainer. You've chosen Peter Fury, so just tell me what made you choose Peter Fury to be your trainer? Why? Well, Peter, Peter's one of the best, best in the business. Um, obviously, you know, you know Peter's background with his trainers, who he's trained, all, all on that world level stage. Um, his knowledge is uncomparable, really. Just what the little things, the little bits of info he gives you just settled, settles it for me in terms of him being someone who I want to be coached by um, and he, he wants he wants you to do well he wants he wants you to excel he's not in it not in it he's in it for you and he's in it to help you and ask him any question anything like that he's a, pro, he's a true gentleman and a uh, brilliant coach a fantastic coach one of just I've been here now since August I think and I feel like the comparison of my boxing just coming in that bit of change already within them few them months really have been here it's changed me massively already as a fighter good stuff man and i'm guessing the heavyweight is the division you're going to compete at uh, or yeah. do you think it, obviously i don't know how much you weigh could you ever boil down to cruiser no no not a chance i'm uh well i think i think i'm 119 kilo at the moment i'm gonna get down to 17 10. um i'm not probably i'm not fighting with um but obviously i'm gonna still jump down a stone um, probably just build back up, sort of thing. So I'm up. I'm, it doesn't really matter. I'm natural at this way. I'm all, everyone says, "Oh, you'd be a good cruiser," but I'm really, really deceiving because I have big legs and got big back and big arms and that. So I'm a natural everywhere. I'm not. I'm not someone who's pumped up or 16 stone or could really get down carrying a little bit. I'm natural at this way. And. Um Sparring wise, I'm guessing when you're a big lad, you, there's so many potential fighters you could spar. Have you sparred any big names? I know you've done some rounds with Huey today. Yeah. Anyone else? Obviously, I've sparred Huey loads of times now. Uh, Huey's fantastic to learn off um, in terms terms of his ring craft. Brilliant, so brilliant to be on the gym with. But um, yeah, I've sparred. Obviously, I've sparred Nathan Gorman, um, Fabio Wardley, um, been in with Matty Harris, who's coming through, um, Enrico Tuma, oh. been in with Enrico. Um, I've been in with. Oh, Steve Robinson up Newcastle, uh, Michael Webster was a good cruiserweight. Um, being with a few names, Nick Campbell, who obviously up the Scottish 
champion. I've been in with him. I've been in with a few of them. I've been in with a lot of them. Um, obviously, I've boxed loads of great people. I boxed uh, Declan Flusco, who was a GB lad. He was cut. He was a few years ago. He was fantastic. So I boxed him. So I've boxed brilliant people. I've sparred, been in the ring with some people who know what they're doing. Do you know what I mean? Who are on that ladder, sort of thing. What stood out to me there was when you said in Rico Tuma, you're obviously similar sort of age, you know, you're a couple of years younger than him. Uh, he's obviously had two pro fights already. Somewhere down the line, I don't know what your airship's like, but somewhere down the line, we could maybe see a, an old British clash. Well, could do, yeah. I'd never say never to anything. Um, but obviously, yeah, hopefully down the line, we're up all these young heavyweights, me, me and him. Um, just Johnny Fisher, Matty Harris, hopefully, no, me, we're all young, and we? we're all at 22, and there's loads overseas, loads, the heavyweights booming at the moment, so obviously, uh, but Enrique goes, yeah, Enrique goes on the ladder too, and also, yeah, definitely, I think, I think we could be down the line somewhere, we could potentially fight, yeah, definitely. Good stuff, man. It's it's a bit windy, man. I know you've just done a sparring session, so I'll, I won't keep it too long. Just shout out your social media, just so the fans know where to follow your journey from. Uh, William How Two Instagram, and uh, I think it's uh, William H O Two from a Twitter. Um, on the Facebook's just William How. So um, give us a follow and a like on all my um, posts and that. Thank you very much. Hopefully we've got some people from Middlesbrough watching and uh, follow your yeah. journey and uh, you know you'll be fighting on the Eubank Smith undercard but what, what a stage to make your debut. Fantastic stage. No, there's a massive fight, big fight obviously. It's all or nothing for Chris um, and same for Liam. Liam's thinking to do the same again so it's it's a massive, massive fight and Savannah's on it and April's on it and I think Yui's on it so I'm not too sure two sure who's on it but fantastic level to start it off and obviously yeah, can't, can't, say, can't get any bigger than that. Definitely can't, Will. Well, I look forward to your journey, man, and uh, she was exciting times ahead. Uh, good luck. Cheers. Thank you very much, mate. Appreciate it. Thank you.